Hi everybody, for this assignment we are doing more texture. You get to create your own. We have three different boxes that you need to fill in completely and you can either draw from a reference by looking at something or you can make it up. And I've done some of that. I've, I made up this top box and this box and down here on the bottom I'm going to do some wood grain which is actually just from my desk. So for this top one I drew in everything just to make things quicker, just drew these shapes. You could say they're rocks or maybe little puddles of water, whatever you want. And after I drew them in, I shaded in dark between some of these up here. And I'll do the same as I go down. And then I'm just going to start to shade each shape. And it's always important to have a light source or to imagine where your light's coming from. And it, we're coming from the bottom right. So that means the opposite side of that will be pretty dark. I do have some shadow. By putting some shadow on the front, I'm giving it the illusion that it's really rounded. And I'm just going to get lighter and lighter as I go over towards the right side here. And again, this is all just made up just by thinking about where the light source is coming from and having in my mind what these shapes look like it's pretty easy to do. So I'll continue that over and complete this. Down here I'm doing some spikes. So I just took a plastic bottle lid, I traced around it a bunch of times, and then I lightly put an X through it so I know where the middle is. And then from that middle spot I start to shade and I'm just going back and forth to the outside of the circle from the middle and just like that value scale, I'm going from dark and gradually getting lighter as I go all the way around and get to that point where the highlight's going to be. And on a spike like this, it's really interesting because at the very tip, we're going to have the darkest of darks. And on the other side of that darkest of darks, the lightest of lights, which is the highlight. I need to erase this X that I drew in here. And I've said it before, I'll tell you again, it's always easier to go lighter and then dark when you're shading than to shade everything dark and then try to lighten it up. So first initially I'm just doing things pretty light. I'll fade into the highlight there and then I definitely need to go back in and darken things up and clean up all the spots where I didn't shade. So you get to choose whatever you want to do. That's part of the challenge. So you don't need to do what I'm doing. If you absolutely are having a brain block and you need to do what I've done, that's okay. But try to challenge yourself and think of something creative. And look around. You can find Maybe the clothes you're wearing are wrinkly, or the grass outside looks interesting. There's a lot of texture in that. Leaves on a tree. Even, even your wall might have some interesting texture on it. I'm going to clean up the edges here. Okay, go in with my eraser and clean that up a little bit more. And you get the idea. Okay, now I'll move down here to the wood grain. And if I look on my desk, it's basically there's a lot of little lines that are dark, and then there's some medium dark lines going this way, and then it's just shaded this brown color. And since I'm using a pencil, I'm just going to try to match the value or make this the same. If this were gray, I'm trying to make this the same gray. Okay, and then there's a bunch more lines. What's interesting, because pretty much everybody knows what it looks like, and when you see a drawing of wood, you can almost just, like, you know what it feels like, too, because pretty sure everybody has touched wood at some point in their life. Just going to shade this. 
okay and I will finish this drawing up and put it on canvas so you can see the finished product I just wanted you to get an idea of what you're supposed to do so have fun with this